All right, so I'm an aspiring student. I, have, I want a career in this. Uh, or give the panel five seconds of advice on what you'd recommend for those guys to do to get to where they want to go to. What would you say, Ryan? Work harder than the next guy. Good point. Good point. Johnny? Be nice to everybody. Ah, very important point. Dave? Work for free for a long time. That's, that's Never wait on money. If you wait on money, you'll be starving. I'm next in line. I made a career by ripping off successful people. Start with these guys first. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. Starting to our right, <laughs> Robbie Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go find your hero and try to work for him or her. Find, find, yeah, just find whoever, find whoever you love and do it. Vance, what do you think? Do whatever it takes, as long as it's questionably legal. <laughs> yeah, there's a questionably point. legal and uh, and then, uh, yeah, no, uh, never. Um, and uh, just uh, be prepared to spend endless days and nights. This is more than five seconds. Endless days and nights doing stupid shit. Uh, one of, you, you know, oh, what's the first one? <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I had to break. No, I, I had to break. I had to break the ice there. Yeah. Vance is is putting a humorous bent on that, but the reality of it is is that is so true. What your what your mate or spouse or whatever it is is going to have to understand is your commitment. Um, they're going to hate you, mind you. They're going to, they are going to have to work through this. This is a 24-7 commitment. Um, we're going to introduce you to our young guys in a minute. They're busy setting up media and stuff. Um, they are often, which you've heard me say on the show, uh, they'll come to my, well, actually, I'll use myself as a, as a metaphor. Uh, not necessarily because I want to, but, it just re but the business requires it. So my guys will tell you that they'll often get emails from me at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Is that oh, correct? hell no. 4 or 5. Six. 4 or 5. But then I wake them up about seven or eight with phone calls. Yeah. And do I really want to do that? It's just that the business requires it and you learn it. Now look, you gotta be healthy, you gotta be smart, you can't be, you know, you gotta be careful. But the business is a privilege to be in. It is a privilege to affect pop culture. It's an honor to be able to do those kinds of things. And it has requirements. And just like any other job that has requirements, if you don't like the requirements, don't get in this space. But, can if I throw you, something? but if you can grind, absolutely. But if you can grind, this is the space. Go ahead, man. Two, two things uh, I'm going to say. First of all, my assistant, Eddie Spear, last year had seven days off. Eddie! Eddie, he's around here somewhere. Uh, he took seven days off last year. Last year, he took seven days off. All right? Now, I gave him a lot more days, but he worked on those days on projects of his own. He learned. He's learning his craft. He's working really hard. Secondly, you know, Dave actually said something, I think it was at Belmont, that made a lot of sense to me about uh, the raccoon thing. It was the raccoon thing. No. And he said, uh, do whatever you can to limit your responsibilities. So when you're coming up into this world, whatever, whatever you have that's a responsibility, if you're married, you're going to have a long, hard drag. If you've got a girlfriend who needs you at home every night, you're going to have a long, hard drag. If you had kids, man, you've got a long, hard drag. Um, if you got a car payment, maybe not so much, but you know, you see what I'm getting at. And it's funny because I stole that and now I'm telling students that come to me from Blackbird Academy or from Belmont or from NTSU or from Berkeley, that's one of the first things I say. Limit your responsibilities. Only take on what responsibilities you can possibly handle because this job is a huge responsibility to do it right and to get good at it. It is. Well put, Vance. Well put. I stole it from him. <laughs> well put, uh, Dave. There was a footnote, though. Uh, if you do have a responsibility, make it the first thing you address Absolutely. and attack in the day. So if you've got children, that's that's your first responsibility. But try to avoid those. But if you have one, that's, that's the first thing. <laughs> try to avoid oh, your God, children. Let me tell you, the happiest day of my life was when my daughter told me she really didn't want to go into audio. Uh, it's not for everybody, but you guys are here standing in the sun, so 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 that's a good start. I've got.